Hi everyone, Brightbone here, back with another episode of the Weekly Purple Team. This week, we're going to cover Defend Not. This is the successor to No Defend. But many of you who saw my video on No Defend, you realize it was taken down like ASAP, right? You couldn't get your hands on it. Defend Not, this has been up for a little bit, it's still brand new, does the exact same thing. Basically, we're going to eliminate Defender with Defend Not. And then we're going to do the true purple team way. I'm going to show you how to catch this. So let's start. Take a look at our Windows 10 host 2. And we can see Defender here, fully active. If we go to manage settings, everything is on as per usual. And then we have this hosted out on our Kali host on Updog. And we're just going to download our defendnot.zip. So we'll let this download. We've password protected a zip file to get it past smart screen. Now we'll go into our downloads folder and we can see we have defend not right here. We're just going to unzip this. So we'll go extract here. We'll give it the password that we set. And then in here we have our defend not loader and our defend not DLL. Now just to show you how effective this is, we're going to start with our usual shell here. Actually, we'll start with a system shell just to guarantee that we're okay, but it will launch its own. So we'll start with an administrative shell. You don't really have to do this, but just to make sure that this works. And we'll take our folder that we're in now. I'll CD into this. And then we'll go into downloads as well, right where we have it. Now, we're just simply going to run defend not, right? So we go defend not. Actually, let's do this just to prove that Defender is active. We'll go into PowerShell. And then we'll do our typical invoke Mimi Cats, just like this. And we are going to see AMZ in our way. This has been blocked by your antivirus software. Not for long. <laughs> And as we can see over here, it immediately detected PS attack tool. So what do we do? We now run defend not. So we'll do defend not loader.exe, and we're just going to simply run this. It's now going to wait for its processes to finish. We'll press any key, and now Defender is no longer active. If I go invoke. Mimi cats. I now get this is not recognized as a name of a commandlet or function. So defender is no more. It is gone. So that's the red, and you can see how powerful this is. But luckily, from a purple or blue team perspective, this guy's pretty easy to catch. So if we jump over here to our elastic sim, we're gonna look for two things. When defend not is running, it creates a scheduled task. That scheduled task is to keep it running, right? It has to be resident on disk as it is pretending to be an ADR. If we come look for this, we'll just paste this in and we're going to look for event code 4698 or 99 or 4700, 4701 or 4702, looking for a task name named defend not. Very simply, there will be one. And we can see right here, 4698, and there is the task name of defend not. If we come back over here to our Windows machine and we go to task scheduler, you can immediately see a defend not task, right? So this isn't super stealthy, but it works, right? An adversary could certainly use this. Now, this is also a pretty new project. I just saw this hit last week, and it's pretty awesome that it actually works. Um, then to reverse engineer the API, I'm sure, to make this work. Uh, I know the last time, at least from what the uh, author says on his site, that they used third-party code in their previous version of this. That was no Defender. Uh, now it registers itself directly and interacts with Windows Security Center directly. That's pretty cool, right? 
All right. Our second detection of this is that it will create registry keys. Now, if you're monitoring the registry, you can look for event code 4663 and an object that contains defend not. So if we do this, and you can see a whole bunch of keys were added to this host for defend not, right? And the task scheduler, you can see it scheduled the task through the registry as all the task cache. This is just in the last 15 minutes. So this is not stealthy, but can an adversary do this if you're not monitoring? Absolutely they can. Can they move Defender out of the way and then do other actions? Of course they can. Now, once again, kudos to the author here. This is a really cool project. Uh, it works like a champ. If we come back over here and we look at Defender now, we'll just go back in here. And now you can see it says Defend Not, Current Threats, and Protection Settings. And then if you choose Open App, it just does nothing. It's pretty cool. But just so everybody's aware, I saw a lot of comments on my last video when I did this. It, how do I remove this? You simply just tell it Defend Not Loader, and then you do dash D, and it will disable it, and it will turn Defender back on. So if you're experimenting with this, Make sure you have the execute when you do dash D. You can certainly wreck Defender on your system if you don't. But once again, really cool project and perfect fodder for an episode of the Weekly Purple Team. That's all I have for you this week. Thanks for watching and hack the planet to defend better.